Hey yo, and welcome to Cabum's Corner. Welcome to a very special video, right? I am about to attempt to survive the next seven days eating nothing but pot noodles. Yeah, it's one of the toughest challenges that I will have ever undertaken, but I think I'm up to it. Um, it's It's been a while since I've tested myself in this way. It can't all be fun and games. It can't all be holidays and travel. You know, sometimes I do need to test myself in terms of my mental and physical fortitude, which I think this challenge will do. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's a good time for me to start it today because I don't have work early this morning. Uh, the thought of starting, you know, any day with an early morning pot noodle is quite off-putting, isn't it? I mean, they're not bad. They're not bad. You know, I'm not averse. Well, I didn't used to be averse to a pot noodle. I had a fair few of them when I was at uni and stuff. I don't really have them anymore, though, to be fair. I have gone off them, and I don't really fancy one for breakfast. But that's the challenge. That's the challenge, isn't it? Anyway, so it is... Uh, what time is it? It is 9.38... Um, starting the day a bit later today, uh, and I am about to have my breakfast. I've decided to start the challenge with, um, well, you'll understand. It's curry, curry flavour pot noodle. Yeah, I recently went to India, um, and it just felt appropriate. Just feels appropriate. Nice curry pot noodle. It's the original. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. Well, it's going to be okay at the very least, at least to start with. Anyway, enough foreshadowing. Um, let's go boil the kettle. Well, I'll go boil the kettle. Uh, and I'll bring the pot noodle back and we consume it together. Right, kettle is boiling in the kitchen. Um, traditionally, I would have taken you in there and showed you the kettle boiling, kind of being in the kitchen and stuff. But I'm trying to be extra vigilant. It's going to be a challenge within a challenge, actually. Obviously, I've recently moved. I've got a new house. Uh, and for the first time in years, people don't know my address. I've not been annoyed on a daily basis with people coming here and stuff. And I'd really like to keep that the case. Uh, but I do want to be able to do challenge videos and stuff. I don't only want to be able to film when I'm away and out of the country and stuff. Or stay in a different place. So, I'm going to have a go at it and we'll see how it goes. But I will have to be very careful. Anyway, kettle is boiling. And I just wanted to show you that. The dusty goodness. That's for the flavour, that is. See some nice little peas in there and stuff. I'm on peas again. I went off them um, after doing a challenge where I've done nothing but peas. But I'm me and the peas are friends again nowadays. Uh, and this is the other thing I wanted to show you. The sauce. You see that? Mango sauce. Squeeze a little extra. Uh, sauces are going to be massive in this week. Um, you can really change the flavour of a pot noodle by adding something. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely give that a go. Right. Sounds like the kettle's finished boiling. But it's, um, I'll bring the kettle in here. That's it. Okay, are you ready for this? So you add, do you, need, do you need me to tell you how to make a pot noodle? I'll tell you. Some of you might not know. You basically, you add water up to the line. Uh, the water then gets absorbed by the noodles, uh, making a, maybe not delicious, but it makes a meal. It makes a meal, basically. It rehydrates the noodles. All right, so I'm going to... Um, I'm going to give it a little stir with my forky fork because they do need breaking up. I don't know I've got quite enough water there. Just a touch more. Just a smish. Um, oh, I need a little bit. I need a little bit because it retains the heat in there. The lid retains the heat. Oh, crikey. Yeah, so what you do, what you do, lid, uh, is pop the lid on. I'll give it one last little break up. Yeah, it's doing its... Oh, Christ. It's doing its business, so I'm going to put the lid back on just to retain some of the heat. Yeah, yeah. Give it a couple of minutes now, and yeah, jobs are good. Okay, four minutes, apparently, we've got to wait. It's okay, it can wait. The smell isn't that massively appetising, to be honest with you. It smells of Jeremy Kyle. Right, okay, it must have been four minutes now. Let's give it a last stir. Um, yeah, those noodles are separated nicely. They're moist, they're... Um, Relatively succulent, at least to me, who hasn't had anything to eat yet. I've had a frothy coffee. Um, that's been it. Right, let's try it pre-sauce to begin with and see how that is. Um, try and get a pea involved. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's momentous, isn't it? My first mouthful of pot noodles of the challenge. Oh, I've lost my pea. Oh, hot. Crikey. More like hot noodle. Let's try and get that pea in there. Hmm. It's fine. 
Hmm. I mean, it's a hot noodle. It's a pot noodle. It's pleasant. It's not bad at all. At this point of the challenge, I'm thinking it's going to get a bit repetitive, obviously, but there are different flavours that I can try and the sauces and stuff. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a bloody doddle. All right, let's talk in. Try the sauce too. Oh, thick. You say that thick mango goodness. Oh wow. Mm. It's like a proper mango chutney, which. Need some water, um, which actually is sparking ideas in my head. They say it's brain food, don't they? Noodles, and maybe that's right. Um, I could use my own mango chutney, you know what I mean? If that's not enough for me, I've got mango chutney in my fridge. I'm lucky. Um, also, like, what about like Worcestershire sauce and um, chili oil and stuff? You could just use it right chop. This challenge is gonna be a bloody doddle. I'm not gonna do that now because it's first morning, first day, and stuff, and I don't really need that much spice this early. Um, but I'm going to chalk him, eat the rest of this, um, and then I've got loads to get on with today. I've got loads to get on with in terms of like editing and stuff, and also trying to get my head around VR. Um, so I'm going to do that. But I will be back with you later when we have another pot noodle. Um, also, I want to shave my head. I think there's going to be a tendency to feel a bit, not sorry for myself or low, but just a bit kind of skeevy with this challenge. You know, the eating of this, the smell of this, it really... Everything about it reminds me of Jeremy Kyle as a student. So, um, yeah, I just think feeling clean and shorn and stuff is going to be important to on top of that this week. So I'm going to do that and do my bits, but hmm. I will see you again later. Hey, yo. Right, I haven't consumed any more pot noodle goodness yet, but I have. I've um, I filmed a meme review which I wasn't really expecting to do. But I just felt like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. People have been moaning and they want another one. And I said I'll do them a bit more regularly. Um, and I was just feeling good. Do you know what I mean? I shaved my head. I was feeling freshly shorn and stuff. It's the little things that make a massive difference, isn't it? You know what I mean? And also, I'm putting it on the second channel now, which kind of makes me feel like I've got a bit of separation. It did get in my head a couple of years ago. I felt like I was worrying about what I was saying in my vlogs in case you made it into memes and stuff. It's a little thing, just sticking it on the other channel, but hopefully it helps. And it's where it should be anyway, because it's reaction content. Not a massive fan of reaction content, but it was better, it felt like. Having done one only a month ago or so, it was easier to search them. I could just watch, like, uploaded in the last month by the most viewed and stuff. So I think I watched better ones. Yeah, yeah. I'm just in a good mood, to be honest with you. I'm enjoying the challenge, and life's going well at the moment. It's nice to be doing stuff again, filming again. Bloody good. Right, I guess I better turn my mind to a pot noodle. Um, I'm going to hold off a little bit, I think. It's not that I'm full. It certainly didn't fill me up my breakfast. Well, it did for a little bit. I had like a hot noodle-y goodness ball in my tummy for a while, but it goes quick. Um, but I'm a bit worried about what comes out the other end. You know what I mean? I hope it doesn't constipate me. I've been on good terms with my anus recently, so... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink lots of water, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off until... Probably pre-stream, I think, a pre-stream pot noodle. I'm trying to stream a bit earlier at the moment. So I'll have a, a late lunch and kind of pre-stream pot noodle. And then I, I've still got, I've got loads of pot noodles in the kitchen. But I'll probably have like a late night one as well. It's going to be like rations, I think, three times a day. Get a pot noodle in me and just try and forget how hungry I am. It's time for another pot noodle. Well, it's not really time yet. I was planning to leave it till a bit later. I'm not streaming just yet. But, um... I'm trying to set up this VR, like, when, when I found out I was moving, I had two big aims, was to get out there and film more content in other places, and also to, to move the streams forward a bit, make them a bit better for people, and people wanted VR, um, but I'm really struggling to set it up, it's the, the link between it and my computer, the neural link or whatever it's called, it's not called that, that's the Elon Musk into your brain thing. Tell you what, I'd like to think I would reject that. I've got my own good brain, thank you very much. But at times like these, I do think, oh yeah, just stick it into my brain and then just let it link up. It'll be simpler. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's a struggle. So I'm going to have my pot noodle brain food 
uh, just trying to stimulate my, my bloody faculties a little bit with the setting up. Um, yeah, let's get the kettle on. Let's have a pot noodle. Right, okay, kettle's boiled. Let me just show you uh, the insides of what we're dealing with. So, uh, flavour first, I guess. And going for beef. Beef and tomato. I've gone for the, uh, the most old school, plain flavours to start with. Um, I was tempted to have another curry one earlier, uh, from the same as earlier, but um, I think beef's okay. I'm just, I'm starting slow, going for the plain and boring flavours, and I'm going to do that for the first couple of days, I think. Curry and beef, curry and beef. Stick with that as long as possible, and then when I'm getting really bored of it, because that's going to be the challenge here, is the boredom. Um, when I start getting really bored of it and sick of it, it'll be like, oh, wow, these new flavours taste sensation. I'm loving the pot noodles again. Thinking tactically. Anyway, yeah, that's what we've got. The lovely, beefy goodness, all dusty and flavoursome. And a little sauce sachet is tomato, obviously. It's in your hands. It's in my hands. Anyway, let's stick the, um, the hot water in. Get it filled up to that line. Oh, this looks nice. It does look good. Uh, this time, i have it's all coming back to me, pot noodle knowledge. I've not pulled the... Uh, the top three off, so it's much, much easier just to put that back over, and then we'll leave it for four minutes to let it marinate, and um, yeah, jobs are good, and hopefully it'll get my brain working a bit better with this VR stuff. Right, it's time to see if it's ready, hopefully it will be, let's give it a little stir, um, yeah, that seems soft, that seems soft. Seems an age, doesn't it, waiting four minutes when you're kind of just sitting here watching it. Yeah, I think that's ready. Um, about fork in time. You like that? Um, all right, so in this one, we've got what we've we got. Let's stir it round. There, oh, what was that? Swear to God, I think I just saw a bit of sweet corn in here. Uh, there's loads of peas, loads of peas, and little bits of tomato. And I, yeah, I swear I sighted a single piece of sweet corn a minute ago. I can't see it now. It seems to have disappeared. That's disappointing. But maybe I'll find it again. Maybe I'll find it again as I get to the bottom. Doesn't look like it with that sweet corn. But maybe it's just a stray piece from the factory or something. Anyway, I'm going to add the tomato sauce straight up into this. Because I think it will really enhance it. Thicken it as well. The broth. You know, the pot noodle broth that it makes. Hopefully it will give it just a little bit extra. Just that little bit extra. Stir it around it. I hope this works. I hope this works. If it doesn't, I've got to do a bloody sleep stream as a penance. I've got to put it all on the line because it's taken me so long to get this VR ready. I lost a wire somehow. I had to order another one. I really don't want to do a sleep stream. I mean, don't get me wrong. People are massively generous. And it would help with uh, saving up for the next trip and stuff. But um, I'd rather do it slower. They're bloody brutal sleep streams. People are just so extreme nowadays. Do you know what I mean? Back in the day, it was like... Oh, yeah, there'd be, like, loud alarms and stuff. And if, But if I could sleep through it, like, I was okay. But now it's like, don't fall asleep. Otherwise, Adolf Hitler's going to be screaming in your ear. Anyway, let's try beef pot noodle. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's nice. I love a bit of beef. I really do. Let's get a pea in. Let's get a pea in. Maybe a little shard of tomato as well. They're hard to get on the fork, aren't they? Come on, get the fork on there. There we go, got tomato. And half a pea. Mm. Mm. Where's the pea? Interesting consistency to the vegetables, I must say. Um, but I mean, I'm really hungry. It's not... I was never a massive fan of pot noodles back in the day. I mean, it's slightly reminiscent. I've had a few and stuff, but I was always more of a, a sandwich man. Do you know what I mean? I don't really want super noodles. If I'm going to have something like that, I want a sandwich. Cheese or egg based, possibly, you know, if possible. And chicken as well. It's decent. Beef and sandwich. There's loads of nice sandwiches, but I would always go to a sandwich rather than a pot noodle. And it doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel like proper food. It's like... It's like having one off the wrist compared to proper boom boom. Yeah, it, it fulfills a purpose. It gets the job done, but it's not quite the same. It's not quite the enjoyable process that it could have been. And that's how I feel about these pot noodles. Anyway, I'm going to get it down, mate, and try and get this VR sorted. There's a lot of money riding on it. I'll speak to you later. 
It's much more pleasurable to just kind of drink it once it gets down to a certain level. Mm. Mm. Get more tasty broth this way as well. Hey, up. Right, um, it's really, really late now. Um, well, not like, really late, not if you're like, out clubbing and drinking and stuff. But it's nearly midnight now and it's late to be having a pot noodle for your dinner. Um, feeling a little bit um, despondent, well not despondent, not like struggling with a challenge, but it's definitely a long point so far. Um, just kind of muscle memory, I've come off stream and I've done like a, a difficult stream tonight with the VR, almost like a double thing. Um, and I just want a nice cup of tea and some biscuits, and maybe like a little knob of chocolate. Get some chocolate in the fridge, it's nice when it's all cold and you know, you have to really bite it. Just a little treat to reward myself. And that's what I'd normally do when I come off straight. Maybe a bag of crisps or something. I can't have any of that. Um, it's taking me a little while to settle down afterwards. And just kind of really feel like I'm ready to eat. And it, pot noodles, last thing I fancy right now. If I'm being perfectly honest with you. Um, I've gone beef again. I've gone beef. I know that's double beef in a row. But um, it's not what I fancy. And I'm really, really hungry. And as much as I love curry, and you know, it reminds me of India and everything, I think in a real hunger situation, um, challenges and the like, whatnot, I think beef is best. Curry's lovely, but beef is best. You know where you are with beef. Um, I wish it had some real chunks of beef in it. That would be lovely. Just some burnt ends or something. Yeah, I'm just torturing myself now, aren't I? Just torturing myself now. Alright, I'm going to stick my tomato sauce in because I think it really improves the broth, thickens it up some and just gives it that little bit extra flavour, which you do need when it's just noodles, just rehydrated noodles, because they are stupid, aren't they, when you look at them, they're just lying there all lank, like retarded maggots or something. It's just my, it's my hunger space, my hunger talking. It's my hunger and my slight egginess. I've got a thwox my knee as well. Really banged my knee when I was doing VR. That's been throbbing. Anyway, less moaning, more interesting of these little maggot-like noodles. There's almost no veg in this. It's ridiculous. This is a bad one to be ending the day on. There's almost nothing in there. There's a pea, there's one. There's about three peas and about 20 bits of fake tomato. That's a poor deal. That's a poor deal. Let's get one of the peas and sample that. Hopefully it'll be a nice pea. Quality of the peas, really. It varies wildly. It really does. Mm. Bang average. All right. I haven't got loads of camera space, so I'm just going to scoff this, and I'll see you guys in the morning. It's a low point, though. It's a low point. <laughs> At least a meeting. <laughs> All right, a up and welcome to Saturday. Quite a tired a up and welcome to Saturday, actually. I did not sleep well, and... Um, the astute amongst you will notice that I'm in a slightly different position today. Um, that is because um, Penny, my cat, uh, apparently is now on heat. Um, she's been making weird noises all night long. And she's sitting over in the kind of streaming area in the living room on my chair. Um, I did a look at her earlier, walk around there, and she just looked mental, proper mental. Um, so I'm just going to leave it there. I don't want to set her off again. I don't want to hear that anymore. Um, it's time for breakfast. It's like 10 o'clock. It's quite late already. I've already had several frothy coffees. Might be a record for me. Um, but yeah, it's time to eat. Um, I've, gone, I've gone the other way around this morning. Um, I'm going to start with the, the beefy goodness uh, for breakfast. And we'll move on to the curry one later. Um, not sure which one I'll double up on yet. Anyway, I've pre-boiled, pre-prepared. I definitely lose less peas in this one. Um, let's stock in. It's not too bad, is It's not a great way to start the day, is it? A pot noodle, it's not full of nutrition, but... 
it's cooled off a bit while I've been talking with you actually and it's more pleasant to eat it um, than the last few I've had. That's a good technique, let it cool off a bit and just get it stuck in. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh, that pea was bloody lovely. So many of them in this have been really dry. Um, the, la the last beef one was the same, really dry peas. That one was, that was, oh, that was sweet and full of flavour. That was one of the best peas I've had in years. Don't expect that in a pot noodle. That's good. Okay, that gives me some invigorates me slightly. So, plan for today um, is I'm going to finish editing my last Tunisia vlog. So, I've got some more space in my phone uh, for the recording. Um, we'll take it from there. It's not raining, it looks quite nice. I'd quite like to cut my grass as well today. Well, I hope for all of those peas. They all drop to the bottom is the trouble because I've stirred it so much. I'll find another one. That were lovely. Mm. Yeah, it's going okay. Tired, but okay. Hey, up. Right, I've had a very good day so far, actually. Cut the grass. That was class to be able to do that. It's been so bloody rainy for so long it's nice to get stuff done again um you've got me in the corner because i can't be asked to close the blinds again and pop you on the little tripod thing um i'm dead dead hungry that's the thing about doing physical activities like grass cutting uh, it does make you hungry i've gone for curry one gonna scoff the curry one um let's uh let's just get on with it i guess Washing it down with a bit of full fat coke. Now, um, full disclosure, um, I'm going to be nothing but honest with you. I have put a spoonful, a dollop of um, mango chutney in this one. Um, there isn't much in that little sauce packet. I did think, well, is that outside of the rules, putting a dollop of mango chutney in? I thought, well, no, because that's what you get with it. And I could go and buy like a hundred of these curry ones and open them all and just have like five sauce packets. But it just feels wasteful. So I put a dollop of... Um, mango chutney in there and it's tasting actually really really nice yeah it's a good day so far catching up on stuff and um um yeah feel like i'm smashing the challenge to be fair i want a pea give me a pea i wonder whether i get another delightful one no hard so many of them are hard and dry yeah things are going well hey up right pot noodle consumption has been completed um, well, actually, I say completed. I did leave about an inch or so of it in there. Um, just got a bit fed up of it towards the end. There was no real relish that it was going down with, even when I got to the, the drinking it stage. Um, which is quite worrying, because it's very, very early in the challenge. I'd, all I've bought is beef and curry ones, you know, enough to last me for the first three, four days. I thought I'd be fine till then, but... I think, I think for dinner, actually, I want something different, so I'll have to get on my scooter in a bit and go get a different pot noodle. I think it's time to mix it up already. That's worryingly soon. Anyway, I'm not going to let it get me down. Just just going to roll with it, go with the punches. Uh, in better news, I've almost finished the editing. It's coming together well. Um, very excited to finish this. Not only because it creates more room on here, which will be easier for this challenge, uh, but also because once I've finished it, I can start planning it the next trip. And I've been reading all your comments and stuff. You guys have been saying either um, USA or Thailand, and both massively excite me. Um, it's, you know, USA, I want to go to Walmart, I want to go to American McDonald's, I want to, there's loads of stuff I want to do in America, different places I want to go, um, and Thailand as well, that's like proper exotic, isn't it, it's like when I went to India, it'd be amazing there, a whole different world, and you know, Bangkok and stuff, a million different videos and weird foods and stuff that I could try there, uh, both very much excite me, although I'm not going to let my, my mind go there yet until I finish the Tunisia vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be researching it, reading your comments and looking at it once I finish. It's a big one because it's going to be my last trip abroad for a, a couple of months at least. I've got loads of videos I want to film in England and I always planned to um, take advantage of like the cheap off-season airfares in like abroad holidays to start with. And then once spring comes in England, I can do all the ones I want to do here. And so I want to get up to Scotland, there's videos I want to film there, paranormal videos, worst rated towns in England I want to visit. Anna McDonald's is a really bad one I want to go to. Um, so yeah, it's it will be the last abroad trip for a couple of months. So there's a lot I need to do well, to make it perfect. Anyway, don't let myself think about it. Um, finish the editing, and then I'm going to jump on my scooter and go get myself a different flavour pot noodle for tonight. 
Right, I'm just letting it marinate. I thought it would be ready by now. I swear it's been like four minutes. But I don't know, the noodles seem to be taking longer, like they're tougher, maybe. Which maybe, you know, you kind of expect from a Bombay bad boy. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I'm slightly distracted. My um, my mouse mat is moist. Um, just hot water, luckily. It's not pot noodle and juice. That would have stank. Um, but yeah, it's annoying. Anyway, yeah, come on, get ready. I need it to be ready now. I want to go and eat. I want to eat. I want to stream. I want to eat and then stream. I'm going to play my poker, like I said. Um, I don't want to miss the stream because they get quite upset what with me going away quite a bit at the moment for filming and stuff. They they do like the schedule and the regularity. Um, it's an interesting thing, actually. It's an interesting thing. I remember being really young. Probably most of you aren't as old as me, but like 30 years ago as a kid, I remember going into town with my dad um, and you'd see the bloke on the corner in his own little world, you know, kind of directed the traffic with a series of collapse, just doing his own little thing. And my dad would say, oh, it's sad, you know, it's Thatcher's fault. You know, she closed all the homes down. Where are they going to go now? Um, 30 years later, it has that question has been answered, isn't it? They're in my, um, they're in my Twitch chat. And not just Twitch, actually, they're on TikTok as well. You see him when I go on there to check, you know, on um, Paul Breach's nonce levels. Just keep my eye on him for a second channel video. Um, I do see them just live streaming their mental illnesses for the world. And people are just watching for their entertainment. Welcome to the future. It's quite dark and dystopian. And here I am eating nothing but pot noodles for a week for your entertainment, which I guess I'm part of the problem in a way. Deep thoughts, deep thoughts. Right, anyway, um, I think that's got to be ready now. That's got to be ready now. Interestingly, in the Bombay bad boy, uh, it is a selection of peas and sweet corn, which I'm very, very excited about. I never found that rolled piece of sweet corn that I thought I saw the other day. Um, I guess it was like a mirage, you know, in a desert of peas. You dream up a piece of sweet corn. Anyway, I'm excited about this. Very excited. Let's give the Bombay bad boy a try. Can I get both a pea and a piece of sweet corn? Why not? Spoil myself. It's the bloody weekend. Oh, it looks very hot. Very hot indeed. Right, oh God, I'm spraying pot noodle juice everywhere. My desk is a state. I need to clear it up. Keep a little selection of everything on here. I've got a great big dining room table now as my desk. So I've got loads of room, but I've also got a lot of stuff. Bags of knots, controllers. Yeah, I need to tidy it up. But anyway. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. That would be lovely. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, it's still just, oh, stuck in my throat, that one, that little noodle. It's still just noodles, but the flavour is so much fuller. That's so much better. Let's stick the hot sauce in there. Let's stick the hot sauce in there. Loviness. Oh, excellent. That's just what I wanted. Uh, you, not that they're bland, the other ones. Not that they're bland, but just something a bit different. And the India connection as well. You know, I went to India earlier this year and it was incredible. I want to go back. It was my, I'd never been that far in my life before, so I went on a tour, which was amazing. Um, but maybe next year or later this year, I want to go back for a few weeks, just on my own, just do it all on the trains and stuff. Maybe go to that festival that James May went to. Not James May. I like all the lads. Miss Proper Top Gear, though. Grand Tour's not the same. Canage et a bloody disgrace. Right, here we go. I go to France. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. That's lovely. Not only has it got the curry flavour, now it's got a bit of spice as well, a tiny little kick. This is good. Loving it. <laughs> good morning to you. Um, I'm very, very tired and I'm very, very aware of setting off Penny who is asleep up on my bed at the moment. Um, so, uh, hold up to it, didn't win the poker last night. Um, and normally do Dixon, I know you think, probably think I'm tooting my own horn or whatever, but I normally do Dixon at poker, but 
it got to like one thirty, and I was just really tired. Penny's been prowling around so much at night time. She seems to be worse at night. Um, uh, I just got so tired and I just ended up going all in so I could come home and go to bed. But then when I got home, climbed up to my little loft mezzanine level and she was up on my bed and when I turned the light on up there, she looked insane. She looked like Beetlejuice. Um, and the light obviously really annoyed her and she just yeah i ended up sleeping down here on the sofa just curled up but that didn't seem to placate her you know it set her off the line and I, I can't even impersonate the noises that she makes in case I, it bothers her again i'm basically having to do this video record and live my life in the little spells where she's not crazy she goes mental for like 20 minutes half an hour and then she settles down and then she does it again and then eventually she falls fall asleep for a few hours i think we're in that phase at the moment it's my own fault it's my own fault i meant to get a spade get her done after it happened for the first time but my neighbour was going to go in the car with me i haven't got my driver's license yet i've got a car to practice in though um the neighbour was going to go with me, but the clutch went on the bloody car. That car's been nothing but sodding problems since I bought it. And I can't even drive yet. I've got to get that sorted this year. Anyway, for breakfast, we're going for Old Faithful Curry. Um, I did think about having a Bombay noodle again. I bought a couple of them, and it was a taste sensation last night. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping to... Um, to go up there and to my actual bed and get a bit of sleep at some point this morning just a couple of hours to sort me out uh, and I think a Bombay bad boy might invigorate me a bit much uh, it was quite something not blow your head off hot or anything but it does it gives you a little buzz on as much as you're going to get from a pot noodle anyway uh, though I, I, my thinking is I'll save that till when I wake up um, later and it'll be like boom Bombay bad boy there we go ready for the day anyway I've got my um new mango chutney and fair disclosure again I put this little sachet on there and that'll do me for the top layer but I will get a dollop out of the fridge um Gita's Gita's it was on sale you get it on sale in Tesco sometimes otherwise you just have to go for Tesco's own Gita's tends to have bigger lumps of mango in there um right here we go I think it's going to be Gita's. Bluish. Anyway. That's a disappointing pig. Yeah. It's a disappointing pig. I'm really, really tired. I think that makes it feel more skeevy and kind of more of a dirty way to start the day than it would have done if I was up early and working or something it'd be yeah you know just having a pot noodle getting ready for the day I haven't got much time but it's Sunday it's Sunday and I'm really tired and I'm eating pot noodle there you go oh oh Mmm. Mmm. I just got another one of those lovely peas. They're like heaven sent, they are. Now, that one was a tiny bit dry still. Um, maybe I prematurely eaten the pot noodle or something. Should have left it longer for the peas to develop and cook. Uh, but the flavour on it was magnificent. They really are a gift from God. It's like a heaven sent, you know, oh, you're struggling with a challenge, you're feeling a bit crap. Here's a wonderful pea. Here's a wonderful pea. Just a little pick me up. Pick me up pea. Right, okay, I'm gonna scoff this and then I'm gonna try and keep a bit. I'll see you guys later. Hmm. That was decent too. Good peas. Right, I do feel more with it. Um, I have had some sleep. Penny did let me sleep. Although I had a horrifying incident. Um, 
Actually, it's something we've got to talk about. I know, you know, pooping, it's not a nice topic, but it is something that comes into these eating challenges. Um, and I wouldn't be giving you the full and frank account if I didn't mention the effect it does have on the bowels. Um, yeah, I had a horrifying incident. I basically, I pooped twice already today. Um, and there's been like a, a separation of fecal matter in so far as to now what's coming out is it's akin to like rabbit droppings out of a water slide consistencies anyway from the second one she was up and she was prowling round don't make the noise don't make the noise because it will set her off but she was making the noise outside the bathroom door it felt like pressure on me it was horrible anyway anyway it's I'm basically finished with today I've got this little bad boy was Make a little intro on it, a little segue. Got this little bad boy to add now. Um, and then obviously the dinner after Miss Stream. I don't know what I'll have yet. Probably the beach ball. I haven't had one of them for a while now. Um, but basically on day four then, aren't I? Like way up my halfway through the challenge and yeah, I'm smashing it. And I love this Bob Blake bad boy. This is gonna this is gonna wake me right up. Have I got any veg in there? No veg. Let's have at least the pea. Let's have at least the pea. Tell you what, this whole pea thing is like lucky dip now because some of them are dead, dead good. Mm. Not a great pea, but it's just a lovely flavour. Good morning to you. Um, well, it's not a particularly good morning because I'm up early for work and you wouldn't know it now because she's decided that she wants to be quiet, but that cat has been mental all night long. It's not been a good night. It's not been a good night. I basically, I've got to be upfront and honest, I failed the challenge last night. I was on stream and it got really, really hectic and I wasn't thinking for a minute and stupidly I had pistachios on my desk and I ate three of them really annoying because that's got me before when I was doing an eating only cabbage challenge so officially I failed and you know after the stream which is a stressful event anyway let alone a failure you know I sat there and I just had it just had you know cheater cheater illicit not eater just going round in my mind Probably because the people from the stream had been calling me a cheater, cheater, peanut eater. It wasn't peanuts, it was pistachios. So that's even worse, really, because it's like a middle class failure. But I sat there and I processed it and I decided, you know what? It's not your failures that define you, it's how you react to them. So I shaved my head, purged myself of hair, uh, and I decided I'm going to carry on this challenge. It wasn't through wanting to cheat, it was just a moment of stupidity, not even weakness. Uh, so I had myself a curry pot noodle because that's all I deserved and I went to bed and then didn't sleep for most of the night and I'm knackered now. Anyway, I'm still serving my penance. Got myself another curry pot noodle ready. Uh, I'm going to have this for breakfast. Um, sorry, I thought I saw a piece of sweet corn in this one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have this for breakfast. I will go sit down and... I feel like a civilised person, but here you go. Here's my first bite. Here's my breakfast. It's all I deserve at the moment, and I'm sorry. That's bland. I haven't put the chutney in yet. You know what? I'm not going to put the chutney in. I don't deserve the chutney after last night. All right, I'm going to go scoff this, and then I've got to get to work. I'll see you guys later. I'm really going to enjoy this few hours. Not in an enclosed space with that bloody cat. Anyway, I'll see you later. Hey, yo, look, um, i got to show you this. Um, I think in my tiredness, I didn't stir this one. Um, and it's been getting thicker and thicker as I get to the bottom. And that last gulp in there really is like goop. Um, that's quite wonderful, actually. It's really, really flavoursome. The curry one... I mean, you know, it's a pale comparison compared to the Bombay Bad Boy. Now I've tasted that next. So this one's like, oh, another curry one. Do you know what I mean? But actually, with the extra kind of thick, you know, it's normally it's an even broth because it really stirred them well. But this. Mmm. 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 
it's almost not quite but it's almost like curry sauce that's something to think about playing with the consistencies and stuff right okay i really do need to get my house in gear and get to work now but interesting discovery right good evening to you i can't really put this off any longer i finished my stream about an hour ago um I'm hungry. I'm really, really hungry. But I'm hungry for biscuits, for chocolate, for toast, for nice snacks, a nice little reward for surviving a stream. Um, I actually put the hot water in this probably five, ten minutes ago now. We're going real old school tonight. Um, chicken and mushroom. Yeah, it's where it all started, I'd imagine. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I don't know, you know, the pot noodle law, but... I'd imagine that's probably the first flavour. Squeeze that in. I've even shown you it actually. So you get, as you as you'd guess, with the old school pot noodle, you get an old school sauce, soy sauce. Um, well, that's nice. It's like a little supportive message on the back of that. You can make it. It's like pot noodle saying, "Yeah, go on, Cal. You can still do this. You can make this, even though you're interesting. You know." In eating this food is massively going down. Well, this is full. This is full of sweet corn. A plethora of sweet corn. Um, now, in terms of the flavour, I don't want you to take this as any kind of endorsement of um, mushrooms from me. I don't like mushrooms. Real mushrooms, actual chunks of mushrooms. I will not eat those repugnant little funguses, slimy little spasmoids. It's the texture and the taste. I don't like it. But fake mushroom flavouring, um, I will tolerate in circumstances like this, you know, cheap pasties, um, what else, like Heinz kind of creamy mushroom soup, even though that's got kind of bits of mushroom in there, you can avoid them, and I don't mind the creamy bits, of, you know, dipping a bit of butter toast in there and stuff. Yeah, um, I, had, um, I haven't told you, even told you about my lunch, the next six since I got back in. Um, so for lunch, I just had another one by bad boy at work. I um, think I'm going to need to lay off them when I got back from work. I pooped again and it's got a little sharpness, a tang, a heat to it. Um, so I think it's time to explore new flavours, which is another reason I'm going proper old school tonight. Right, anyway. Ooh. Oh. Oh. In my lack of enthusiasm, I might have left that a bit too long. I might get a tiny bit hotter. Do you microwave it? I should uh, get, it, get it down there. Mm. Right. So, not bad. Not bad. Different flavour. Kind of wholesome. In a very unexciting way. Mm. Sweet corn's nicer though. Seems to do better with the dehydration, freeze drying process. It's sort of going down the bottom now. I don't think this will be a nice goopy one like earlier, but it will do. It will bloody do. Just eating to exist, really. Alright. Uh, I'm going to eat the rest of this and I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. You can't... There you go. You can't really see what's going on because she's hidden behind the curtain. But um, she is quite literally a cat that is... This well, let's cruise it. Christ almighty. You are like Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, she's quite literally a cat that is cruising for cock at the moment. I don't like to say it because she's a sweet little creature. But, um, yeah, she is feral. She is feral at the moment. Her need is very much there and unfulfilled. It's going to remain that way, love. It's going to remain that way. Oh, Christ, he's climbing the bloody walls. All I want to do is sleep. All I want to do is sleep. I've eaten pot noodle for days. And this is what I'm dealing with. Oh, my God. Literally climbing the walls in a quest for cock. <laughs> right, hey up and welcome to day five. Um, good morning to you, I guess, although it doesn't feel like a particularly good morning to me. Um, I'm caught in a battle of wills with a coffee maker and I can't raise my voice in my house in case I disturb the bloody mental cat. She seems to respond to my energy when I'm streaming and stuff, like if I get loud, she gets all bloody 
up there, the noises she makes are absolutely crazy. Yeah, not feeling right today. She kept me up for hours last night. It's way worse at night as well. Um, about 3 a.m. I had like this whole revelation. I was like, oh, she's just a cat. I don't have to listen to her. That's not like she's an actual woman. You know, when they're menstruating, you've got to listen to them and pretend that they're making sense and stuff. So oh, I'm just going to stick on my noise cancelling headphones. Um, that did cancel the noise, but then my ears got really hot after an hour or so. And I had to take him off. I've just had a really bad night's sleep. Um, I'm not having breakfast. I can't deal with a pot noodle this early in the morning. I didn't sleep well enough to be eating pot noodles for breakfast. Uh, and like I say, my coffee maker's being twat, uh, my twat. I, I used to have a proper frothy coffee maker, but then it broke. And then I took the cheap option and got one of those like Casimo things. It's frothy coffee and it's, you know, it's all right. But um, it's basically, I put it, I put it all in, you know, the pod, the water and stuff. And then it's saying, well, it's not saying anything because it's a twat, it doesn't speak. But it, it goes to make it and it's just like water. It's not going through properly. It's not making any coffee. Um, and these pods aren't cheap. Yeah, you get them on the club card deal. You get two boxes, for like the price of one, but they're still not cheap. And that pod's not been used, and I refuse to change it. Um, and normally, you can't reuse a pod. Like, it tells you to put a new one in, but it was letting me press the button again, and I did it seven times. Like, just to battle the wheels with it. It refused to use it properly. Um, and then I had to put a fresh bottle in, and it did make it properly, but... It's doing this more regularly now. It's wasting the pods. Like I say, they're not cheap. I feel like it's forcing me to upgrade it or something. Don't like modern technology. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to go to work. I'm not having breakfast. I'll take a pot noodle to work and, uh, um, I don't know, I'll maybe have it for lunch at work or, I don't know, I'm not. I'm finishing at lunchtime. Sticky bit going all out. Um, yeah, I might. If I can survive, I'll wait till I get home. But I might have... Um, might have it during my break at work or something, I don't know. All I know is I don't want it now. Right, okay, I need to get myself up and together properly, get to work and stuff. I'll speak to you guys again later. Hey, up. Right, I'm back from work now. I've got myself a mug of tea and um, I'm massively, massively lamenting the lack of biscuits. Uh, it's not the most difficult thing in a challenge, but it's a real, real struggle not to have just those little finer things in life, biscuits and stuff. I had my, um, my crap noodle for bloody in my tea break, and it was horrible. Like, normally I would have had a good breakfast. At the very least, I'd have had porridge before I left for work this morning. Um, and that would have been my healthy start to the day. And then tea break, I would have had a couple of biscuits, at least a couple of biscuits. Sometimes a Mars bar or a Snickers or something, if I feel like I need the sugar infusion. Um, it was turgid sitting there, and it was horrible. Like, it was rubbish. I thought it was going to be really, really good, um, exotic and stuff, but it wasn't. There was no veg. There's no veg in there, like tiny little bits of cut up pepper and that was it and some chives. Like there wasn't even a singular pea in there. Depressing and there's no sustenance anyway, you know what I mean? Lack of meat. That's the biggest thing, is lack of meat and lack of veg. Like the biscuits It's tough, it's tough, but you know, I can get through that. You know, I dieted before and stuff, but it's the lack of proper sustenance. What is life without sustenance, meat and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I'm not in a great mood. I'm over tired and I'm over hungry and just I'm fed up with the texture of the noodles. They're just stupid. They're like brain damaged maggots, just limp and not even proper chewy. You can't get pleasure from chewing them. Ah, anyway, I'm feeling sorry for myself. Part of it is because I had a second defecation as well at work. I absolutely detest defecating at work. And don't get me wrong, I'm not in anal agony or any kind of real trouble with my anus, which is often the way on these challenges. I do. It's my Achilles heel, my anus. But um, not in pain or anything, but just very unpleasant pooping. And pooping should be pleasurable, one of life's pleasures. Anyway, I stopped at this shop on the way back home. I bought a couple of the old faithful. I've got some 
beef. They've got some curry and stuff. Because my Tommy didn't seem so funny on those. But I think it might just be the continued existing some pot noodles rather than the um, exotic flavours. Uh, so I have also got a couple of different ones. Sweet and sour. Um, just because that's what it tasted like today. My one from earlier. And I was like, well, that's sweet and sour then. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and a Donna kebab. Donna kebab. I'm hoping there's like a nice meaty flavour to that one. I don't know be any veg. Sweet and sour, I think. I'm hoping for sweet cool at the very least. I haven't checked the ingredients. I don't read them. I just let my kind of soul be influenced by the marketing, the right colours and stuff. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to eat one now. I'm not going to eat one now. What am I going to do now? I should edit. I don't feel in the mood. And um, it's fine recording over here. I've, my computer's massively cooling me. Last night I downloaded um, a retro database for Football Manager. I've attempted this a few times. Um, I've never been successful, but it actually worked last night. I've followed the person on Steam. And anyway, it's it's on Football Manager 2020, I think it is, 2021. Um, and it's, it's 2001 retro database. To th the year 2000, season 2000, 2001. Like, they were brilliant years. Millennium and stuff. 9-11 hasn't even happened yet. You know, Labour government, you can still believe in excitement over Tony Blair and stuff rather than resentment and hatred. It were good times. Good times. Good British music, Oasis and stuff. The world's just mental nowadays. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. Miserable and I'm gonna play it. I'll stream it. I'll stream it. I can do a stream and then I feel like I'm being efficient. I'll stream and I'll play. Everyone will hate it, but I don't care. They can watch me play and bloody love it. Uh, that's put me in a bit of a better mood, actually. I'm going to play some Retro Football Manager and I'll um, I'll see you later. I, I basically had to physically remove myself from the vicinity of my computer. The reminiscing, the retro database, the pull of it is just so strong. Um, no one liked it on the stream, so I didn't stream for long. Um, but I did play for a long time. Just sat there, gently shaved my head, purged myself with my hair. Um, I'm having to do that kind of thing, kind of like... Give myself a little wobble, feeling very Jeremy Kyle, sitting here in my comfy clothes with the rain coming down, you know. Pot noodle fodder, basically. Pot noodle fuels. It's, yeah, it's not nice. It's not a nice feeling. But the football manager was just beautiful. I could just escape into it. The year 2000, like prime Zidane, prime Ronaldo, the original one. Just, um, just legends of the game. Lucio, the central defender Lucio, Janino Pembrocana, just classic players, just loved, just loved it. Had some good music on from that time period as well. Bit of Oasis and stuff, it's just been really nice to reminisce. That was a really good time period, that. Just the world was a better place, and for me personally, it was good as well. You know, the music was good. I was still having like boom boom on a regular basis. I was thinking... Sitting there thinking about the year 2000. I remember a time, and it was about this time of year in February, where I literally looked down and I just had nothing but respect for my penis. He was doing such a good job. He was being used on such a regular basis. It felt like it was actually growing, being stretched out by, you know, extreme vaginal use. And now, well, it's just like an ornament that I sometimes hold to comfort me to sleep. No, give myself a wobble, can't let myself get down. It's just because I'm fueled by pot noodle, I've got no sustenance. It's not an ornament, it's a dormant volcano that's awaiting to erupt again. Powerful. Sometimes you have to physically manage your mind, especially when you're doing these challenges and it all feels a bit Jeremy Kyle. It just, I feel like I've got scurvy. I feel like I've got scurvy. I'll be honest, I was thinking of cheating earlier. Um, and now I erred with the the pistachio but that wasn't for nutritional value that was just a, a moment of madness but for a moment earlier i was thinking you know what not just like what is your sauce or something to use it all why don't i chop up a, um, a spring onion you know i'm craving fresh vegetables and then that's a slippery slope isn't it from that i'm thinking oh what about a couple of burnt ends in there steak burnt ends there's meat craving everything Anyway, it's time to eat again. It's time to eat again. I'm hungry. I don't fancy it. I don't know what to have to go for one of the juice up, slightly smaller ones, or to go for one of the plain Janes. 
you know, you know where you are with a curry pot noodle, you know where you are with a beef pot noodle, you're getting both peas in there, both of those. I might have this, and it might be like the sticky rib, there'd be like no veg in it. Maybe I should go, maybe I should go for the doner kebab. Maybe I should go, but that's probably gonna have no veg. Oh, what to do, Hobson's bloody choice. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I've done sticky rib already. I'm gonna go beef. I'm gonna go beef. I always think whenever you're in doubt, whenever your tummy's playing up a bit, a bit of beef will sort your eyes out. Beef and potatoes is what I want. Just loads of mashed potatoes. Lovely bit of beef and some nice veg with it and like a gravy sauce. But I'm gonna have a stupid little pot noodle. Right, let's make it. Right, okay, let's do this. I hope it hasn't gone cold. I had to, I had to poo again. It's the hat trick that no one wants, isn't it? Awful. Bloody, call them bloody pot poodles or something. It's what is inducing in me. And also that disturbed bloody Penny. She seems to like being in the bathroom at the moment. I make her a hot water bottle. She's happy being in there, sitting on it, takes herself off. But tell you what, real women, human women, could learn a lot from her. It's not she doesn't want to inflict her suffering on me. Although sometimes it does get too much and she swings in and makes a noise and give her a little strokey stroke. It's not what she wants, but she's grateful for it. Um, but yeah, my, my defecation won't curl up and I had to refill a hot water bottle and stuff. I'm hoping it's not, she's not going to come in here. Right, so yeah, we've got beef, totally uninspiring. Um, we've got a tomato sauce, it's in my hands. Yeah, you're right, stating the obvious, it is in my hands. Right, chop that in there, chop that in there. I mean, I mean, tomato sauce makes everything better, doesn't it? You know, Belgian people, they have mayonnaise on their chips. Crazy, isn't it, when there's ketchup out there? And then when you ask for ketchup, they look at you like you're the crazy person. I went to Belgium once, to Antwerp, I think. Maybe I'll go back there one day on a train trip. I'm trying to think of trips a lot. I've, I've, I've decided I'm going to Thailand, by the way. Um, America's going to... I need longer for America to save up and a little bit longer while I'm there as well because there's so many things I want to do. But I think Thailand will be absolutely awesome um, and very excited. Different kind of noodles in Thailand, I'm hoping. Not these bland, lifeless, brain damaged little maggots. <sighs> Decent pee in that one. Coming to something, isn't it? Where that's the highlight of your meal if you get a fully rehydrated pea. Oh, there's, there's quite a few peas in this one. I guess you just got to be grateful for what you've got. I feel like I'm getting scurvy though. I feel pale. I feel tired. Well, it's probably the tiredness from Bloody Penny, but these aren't helping, that's for sure. I've got a pea. Right, it's 1.30 in the morning, just gone 1.30 in the morning and I'm not very happy but I cannot speak loudly because I've only just settled down the sodding cat again. So, about two hours ago, I just got out of the shower. I was feeling all nice, warm, cuddly, ready for bed and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have my last pot noodle of the day. I wasn't going to have it, I wasn't feeling it but I thought I'll eat it and it might help me sleep. So I made my donna kebab one, alright, and, and Got it ready, I barely had one mouthful, it was rubbish by the way, well the flavour was really nice but there was no veg in there, um, and I hear this thump on my roof of what sounds like Penny making a weird screechy scrabbly sound, I'm thinking what the hell, where is she, where is she, I look round, I look round all my house, I look round like the shed bit that's attached outside, she's nowhere to be seen, I'm thinking oh my god she slipped outside um, when I've let Lenny in, um, and now she's out there, just a horny cat on hate, out there prowling, God knows what's happening. Right, so I've had to go out there and I've been searching for bloody ages, stomping around the garden and surrounding area, making the stupid, stupid sound that makes me sound like I'm sucking on a giant bosom, chance will be a fine bloody thing. Right, calling her name out there, Penny, Penny. Oh, God. No, okay, I think she's in a state. 
God, she's on the bloody hot water bottle now. Not like she's the Queen of Sheba. It's the only way I've got to settle down. Anyway, eventually she jumps over a fence and she comes back. I don't think she's been impregnated. She doesn't sound like a cat that's got what she wanted, but what's like a fawful? I'm going to bed now. Hopefully I'll sleep. I'll try the Donna Kebab on again properly tomorrow or something. I can't eat now. It's just ridiculous. Right. A up and welcome to the penultimate morning. Um, I've just popped some hot water into the sweet and sour pot noodles. So we have got like three, four minutes till it's ready. <coughs> but um, to be honest with you, I think I can moan for about three, four minutes. So there's no worries there. Um, I've had barely any sleep. Penny seems to have finally settled down and quieted down. I don't know whether that's through sheer tiredness or she's finally coming to the end of a hormonal cycle. Um, but I barely slept last night. The thin morning sunshine coming through the bloody blinds and the windows over there is literally making me feel sick. Um, I'm constipated. This is another thing. I've had a horrific pooping experience I forgot to shut my bathroom window I'd left that open a crack last night so the toilet seat was like frozen I sat down on it it's like when you lick lick a frozen bit of metal or something I can feel my anus skin just sticking to it horrid horrific and then constipation just a thoroughly unpleasant pooping experience really really nasty um I don't, I don't want to eat this, but I've got to eat before I go to work. I didn't even eat uh, dinner properly last night. A couple of mouthfuls of a dollar kebab pot noodle. It's not dinner. It's not dinner. I know, I'm sorry. I'm being really, really, I'm giving it a stir. I'm being really, really moany, but that's, that's where I am. At the moment with this challenge, I've never felt more like I'm living in an episode of Jeremy Kyle. I just feel disgusting, like, you know, it's not all bloody good stuff making YouTube videos. This is one of the low moments. I'm just I'm having one of those moments. I'm looking at myself, my life and thinking you are a 42 year old man sustaining yourself entirely on pot noodles. I looked at my friend's Instagram the other day. He's taking his kids to Disneyland, going off to America. I'm sitting in my tiny house eating nothing but pot noodles for a week, struggling with anal agony now because I'm quite considerably constipated, despite having a bloody preventative mother call every day. Okay, let's eat this. Let's eat this because I can't just sit here and moan all day. I've got to actually go and work. It's, um, the pot noodle, it's, yeah, it's pretty much cooked now. The noodles look as good as they're going to look. It's, it's a horrible colour. It's a horrible colour. It looks like the urine of Astrid Wet. It is a toxic orange-yellow colour. Looks like it's rife with chlamydia. That only fans flavour in fear. Squeeze a bit more, drip a bit more into it. I'm really, really miserable. I'm really, I need to put myself up. Now, I think part of it is because I felt well, I failed the challenge days ago with a, but I didn't fail. It's not a failure. Do you know what I mean? It's not cheating. It's just a couple of knots. Christ, that makes me sound like Philip Bloody Schofield, doesn't it? Trying to justify his actions to his wife. It wasn't cheating. It's just a couple of knots that don't count. Uh, I need to take it on the chin. I did I did fail. I ate pistachio knots, at least three of them. It was a failure, but it's about how you react to failure. You keep on going. I didn't gain any pleasure from those knots. I didn't even know I was eating them. I may have failed, but I picked myself up and I'm still battling and I'm not enjoying it. Right, I've added the sweet and sour sauce. It says dream big, star small. I don't need any motivational sauce packets today. Bloody sauce. Right, it's, it's got peas in it. 
It's got peas in it. <coughs> oh, that actually makes me... <coughs> <coughs> oh god that was overwhelming what is wrong with me sweet and sour is fine if i'm at the chinese i love sweet and sour it's so stupid textureless little noodles and the i can't eat it i can't eat the breakfast stupid noodles lifeless no texture Crap flavouring, it's not what I want first thing in the morning, it's not even now what I can tolerate. I'll take a beef to work with me and have it on my tea break if I can force myself to. I'm just not going to have breakfast. I'm not crying, they're not tears, it's because they're bloody vexed. They're not tears, it's because they're vexed. I'm going to get ready for work, I'll see you later. Alright, good evening to you. Um, apologies, I've recorded absolutely nothing today i've literally just dragged myself through the day i am under fed and under slept the word for that under rested under fed and under rested my body has not been fueled effectively for almost a week now and after my late night last night i'm just finished i dragged myself to work I had about half, maybe three quarters of my beef pot noodle at work. It went down better than that atrocity from this morning. That sweet and sour, just horrificness. It was, it was nuclear orange. It was disgusting. It was just overwhelming. That was a horrible start to the day. But you know where you are with beef. Beef is comforting. Beef is good. Beef is the best of British. Um... So, yeah, I had about three quarters of that. And I've had nothing since. I've had nothing since. I've streamed. I've come home. Back in my comfy clothes. I'm at the end of the day and I'm too hungry to go to sleep. But I know this is like just this last hurdle. Just this last hurdle. I just need to get past it now. Because tomorrow, it's all on the downhill, isn't it? You know what I mean? I'm almost done, but... Yeah, I've been distracting myself. I can't play anymore. Football manager is ridiculous. I'm just gormless, just sitting there gormless, so tired, just clicking through it. You go in this otherworldly state. And I was watching TikTok, you know, where you flick through, like, and it just gives you loads of different stuff. And I got to these live streams, and it's just this bloke standing, like, New York, I think, America. He's got that pink hair and he's dressed all stupid and he's just like, oh, roses smell good. Oh, roses smell good. Cook it up. Cook it up. Oh, corn needs butter. Needs butter. I just watched him for about 10 minutes, just despairing for all the humanity with my stomach grumbling away. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a better day. Tomorrow's going to be a better day. Um... I'm revisiting, so I had to go to the shop. I had to go to the shop. Um, obviously, got more beef, got more curry because they've been kind of like my safe spaces this week. Um, but I got another doner kebab. Um, I've put hot water in a little while ago, so it should be nicely brewed. I didn't get to finish this last night. I had like a spoonful, a spoonful, a forkful. I'm not an idiot. You don't need a pot noodle with a spoon. Um, I had like a forkful, and then the whole penny kerfuffle happened. Oh, that's interesting. I thought this last night, and I just couldn't be asked, I thought these little brown bits were just like, you know, where you're trying to dissolve a stock cube, and some of them you just get lumpy, clumpy bits, like vaginal discharge, or anal discharge, I guess, because it's brown. But um, it's not, I think it's little tiny bits of like a token gesture at meat. Oh, if I'd known that, I would have sat back down with it last night after I'd found Penny. All right, I've got a hot sauce. Unleash what's inside. I'm going to put some of that in there. Oh, I've almost got a little spring in my step at the thought of meat. Right. Hot sauce is deposited in. Let's stir it nice, nice. What you don't want is just a hot sauce at the top and the first half to be all flavourful and hot and spicy. And then the bottom half to be a feel bland and not hot at all because your tongue will then be, or your taste buds will be like, oh, hot sauce, you know, taste sensation. The rest will just taste bland afterwards. 
Oh, let's try and get some of these little bits of meat on the fork. No veg, really. Well, there's kind of little bits of um, chives. They love the chives, pot noodle. And there's kind of bits of tomato and stuff. Um, oh, there's a bit of the meat. Lovely, right. Ow! 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 Crumbs my shotting lip the little bit there. It's sensitive, is it? What the hell is wrong with me? Ow, well, that tastes good, though. That tastes good. I mean, there's no s substance. There's no substance. There's no sustenance and there's no substance to a pot noodle. That's the thing. I'm craving texture. I'd love to bite into something that you had to properly chew or that had like a crackle to it or something. But this actually, with the spice juice, and they're kind of, oh, is there a tiny bit of meat to it? Oh my God. I don't know whether that was an uncooked noodle or I got a, a more substantial bit of the meat. I had to chew that. There was like resistance. Wow. Wow. Okay. God, it's amazing. Oh, God, that's a massive bit of meat. That's a massive chunk of don of meat. Mm. Chew in. Chew in. Oh, this is brilliant. This is boosting my spirits. Chew that. There's like a chewiness to it. I'm going to scoff the rest of this down. That's boiled me right off. I wish I'd known that. Tomorrow's going to be a doddle. We're going to finish this challenge. It's been a battle of attrition. But this might just have saved my bacon. Don't look about pot noodle. It's chewiness. Good morning, good morning, it's the final morning, yeah, my spirits have been buoyed, I've had a decent night's sleep, and um, the fact that I'm on the home straight now, that I've just got today to do, uh, it makes me feel brand new, it makes me feel magic, despite what has just occurred in the bathroom, um, I've got what can only be described as explosive constipation, which, I don't think it can be constipation if it's explosive, but I've got these it's a lot of information, but I've, I've got horrible tummy, really crampy stomach, and I really need to go to the loo. Uh, but what's coming out is now very, very hard. Um, yeah, it's it's a fecal nightmare. Anyway, I'm not going to get into it. Just got today to get through. Um, I'm sticking to beef. I'm sticking to beef. I can't risk feeling rubbish. I don't think I would retch this morning, but I'm just going to stick to beef. It's one last day. No way you are with beef. Best of British. I'm going to get this down, mate. Get to work, and I'll see you a bit later. Hey, yo. Right, I am back from work. I'm into my comfy clothes, and I am feeling a little bit euphoric. Um, apart from this, where I stabbed myself with a fork in my lip last night. It's really, really been bothering me all morning. Um, anyway, um, I'm there, basically. I'm bloody there. I'm at the end. I'm going to give you full disclosure. Um, this is going to be my last pop noodle of the challenge. Um, it is, it's just gone 320. Um, and, um, this will be my last pop noodle. I'm not going to have another one for dinner. I'm just going to wait for it to get to 12 o'clock. Um, and then I will break my normal food fast. I will eat, I will ingest. Uh, I've already got plans. I'm going to use the air fryer to cook something lovely up involving bacon and hash browns. Um, well, it's a, it's a full English breakfast. I'm not going to, there's no suspense to it. I'm loving my air fryer, by the way. I might do a series of short videos cooking with Callum with the air fryer. It's been life changing. <coughs> anyway. Obviously, I had my beef for breakfast, and I was going to have beef um, now, but I've decided, you know what, as it's my last pot noodle, um, I feel like I should kind of end the challenge the way it started, so we're going to go with curry. Um, yeah, it's. I feel good. I feel well. I don't feel good. I feel quite depleted, both physically and mentally. I feel like I've had no vitamins and no meat and sustenance for days now. You know, it's a full week of just dried noodles. And noodles are fine if you're cooking fresh noodles and you're putting some nice chicken in there, onions, veg and stuff. It's a lovely meal. This is a very different experience. Um, so, I'm, yeah, mentally and physically, I, I'm depleted. Um, but I'm not defeated. Now, I know I had my, my horrific knot incident, but I feel like I picked myself up and I carried on. It would have been easy to quit at that point. You know, it's doggy determination. And I feel... 
I feel good. It's changing my thinking about stuff. You know, you've got to keep attempting these challenges. Can't get into a comfort zone. Got to keep pushing yourself. Right, we're going to have a curry. We're going to have a curry pot noodle. Mm. Disappointing pee. Texture of the noodles is barely worth chewing for. But the flavour of the curry, um, it's nice. It's nice, especially with the mango chutney that I placed in there. Um, it's just a peas. It's just a peas. Sounds like my neighbour's going to be cutting his grass. Right, let's keep eating. They are very, very noisy. Oh, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm going to consume the rest of this pot noodle in peace. Um, I've done it, basically. I've done it. A few more hours, and I will have had a week eating nothing but pot noodles, apart from three, I believe it was, singular pistachios, which was an honest mistake. Um, I feel like I've smashed it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. If you didn't, please do leave a dislike. Always want your honest opinions. I've got a couple of weeks now, a good couple of weeks to edit this up before I go to Thailand. Hopefully I'll do it nice and quick and I'll get a camping video done as well. I bought Timu's cheapest tent. Just been waiting for some bad weather to test it out in. Yeah, so there's loads to look forward to. And if you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching.